Alright Warriors, welcome back. We're going to take a badass walk on the beach, but before we do that, let's, uh, let's get back in our lane. Let's uh, program ourselves with a set of listening ears, healing ears. Five seconds, five Mississippis, just kind of, kind of give us that little mental adjustment. And uh, look, I know as posturing defensively, we we uh, we kind of mastered the uh, art of selective amnesia. Yeah. Well, don't do that to yourself with these videos. In fact, go back, look at the Video Chronicle Library, and you'll see what my journey is. You'll see how uh, you, you just you, you kind of understand this awareness that there are two kinds of people that, that serve it up. The ones that are textbook and the ones that lived it. And then there's another, there's levels to it. There, there are those that grew up in it. And somehow, to a miracle, no doubt, one that you don't believe, you know. You, you know. And uh, those are the two kinds of coaches you have out here. I'm going to... I'm going to go over some phrases that would disarm a narcissist, and I want to be very careful in sharing these with you because, damn it, there's going to be one of you out there that's going to get your ass handed to you because, well, your cocky little ass is overconfident, and you just can't wait to go out there and get you some. Well, what I need to remind you of is narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, borderlines, or loose cannons. Hell, even you got some loose cannon in you. Even you got some ghetto. In fact, I dare say the narky, hey narky narky, knew your pin number. That's how you and I is able to have these badass walks on the beach. It's why we're going to be able to spend five seconds doing a badass breathing exercise and share. Share from a point where now you can listen because I'm on, you, you understand that it's not that I'm on any one side. These are genuine ass shortcuts. Five seconds, warriors. Let's do this. Let's take a badass walk. Come on. Release slowly. <laughs> shake that shit off. Shake it off. Shake it off. And look, I got my poncho. I'm sporting it right now. For real. This is so cool. It's a surf poncho. And look, it says, Merry Christmas, Jesse, from Tracy. Appreciate it, Tracy. This is so cool. Thank you, thank you. This thing drops all the way past my kneecaps. Like, between, between my kneecaps and my footses. Midway. And it's a full body, like, waterproof poncho ginormous. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, and Tracy found that on my Amazon wish list. Chico's Amazon wish list. Hey, look. Y'all. Don't forget to subscription, for real. Come on now. Look, <laughs> I've never been not subscriptious to, but so eloquently said and uplifted, I felt, uh, in the process of being told this. In a remark, no doubt. Somebody sent me a remark, says, I, I, I haven't subscribed, but I'm back to tell you and that they were badasses they stayed in their lane they appreciate how i'm educating people about narcissist awareness and uh take care and i'm going well shit do i say thank you do i well obviously speaking his war cry staying in his lane 
So I put on her, thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Wish you safe passage in this journey and appreciate the shortcut because he did share a shortcut about how he handles narcissists. Hey man, to me it's still a win-win because guess what? You're not that fucking special. And when you soon realize you're not the only one going through this shit, it's not about you anymore. You know what it's about? Allowing others a chance at a better quality life. More longer is this. Isn't that cool? That the one that wins is the one that had the mostest hugs and kisses and smiles. What an achievement. What a legacy. Instead, what is this craze, these women wearing nose rings now? You know, I, I've been to countries where, look, they had the uh, porcupine quills right through that bitch. There's women in the West sporting these bull ring things, and some just on a on, hinging on the edge like, like Tarzan and like a booger. And look, I don't know who the fuck told people that this is attractive, but I can't help but, you, you know, you know, if you look down and they're looking up, you know, you know, now all of a sudden all I can think about is trout fishing. I'm going to put a hook in it. it, it it's just a mind blown now fast how fast that people are so willing and ready to to disfigure and, and you know it just tells me whenever you got so much done after a while that you know if you if you can't be satisfied by what God gave you uh, there ain't shit you can do for them. You, there ain't shit you can do for them. Warriors, narcissists hate that you're able to be yourself and that there's nothing to hate about you. That you can be yourself authentically, genuinely, unapologetically, And be respected for it. In fact, you command respect. Your presence, whether it be a position of authority, irregardless, your presence has a certain class or air, an aura, an energy, a vibe, that even among those that don't know you, have a certain reverend respect at the sight of you. Have you noticed? It's a powerful thing to not only command on sight, but understand people anticipating what it is that you're going to say because they can just imagine how powerful your words may be. It's why it's important that you make them few. Observe without absorbing and speak your truth. Warriors, no matter the position you hold, your presence, your words will always have power over narcissists. They could only wish to have a droplet of the amount of respect you command. This is what they envy. This is their pride. And guess what? That monkey jump they took, you know, the one that the, they took to replace you. Yeah, see that, that, uh, <laughs> come here, listen, come here. Callate, come here. Narcissus monkey jumped. But see, when they turned around, you weren't chasing like you were supposed to <laughs> you see you you uh you were like 
what are they? Uh, deuces, and, and you went the other way. So they had a do or die situation here. You see, it's it's uh, despair on another level. Now they got to make it happen or work with this monkey jump that was uh, it was supposed to be near a, a temporary thing. That's it. A uh, pumping up, not not catch the feels for, and this is why that rebound isn't going to work for the narcissist, and why the Hoover is rage. If they Hoover you, if they come back, it, uh, look, make a damn what comes out their mouth. Uh, make a damn. Their pride and egos have been trampled on. Now, not by you. Whether you discarded them or not, they had enough of a distraction or many that they thought were options, you see. They thought that being fuckable meant committable. Uh, partnership. Uh, treat me like you did. They, they thought they had it like that, you see. Uh, they thought their shit was magical. It, it didn't put a whoop on nothing. And look, their pride and egos have been stopped. Uh, literally fucked. <laughs> and look, they ended up trying to partner with something that didn't want to play like that. You see, narcissists run from responsibility. But they'll make promises. It's kind of like, hey man, let me on on what, what lie do you want me to play a part of and to, you know, get your draws off. Oh, we're going to go with that. that you want the, the husband experience? Okay, well, I'll, I'll give a uh, couple days, two days. We'll, we'll do this for the weekend. Husband experience for the weekend. Hand holding and everything. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll even drive your car. You know, I ain't got one. Hey, but I, I got one. I'm a project planner. Yeah, I plan a lot of projects. I'm a project planner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, CEO. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm general contractor, project planner. CEO, owner, operator, operator, owner. And look, they need you for your fucking money. Let's be blunt. If a narcissist has to come back, look, they're not going to waste their time trying to rub shit in your nose if they succeeded in something. You'll never hear from them. If they're that busy, look, they don't forgot about your happy ass. They did find your replacement. Yeah, something to think about, huh? Well, nonetheless, it's still a blessing. Don't be kissing the gift horse. Some of y'all be wanting a Hoover uh, for your own validation that, that you're worth something worth missing. Uh, yeah. Look, don't go chasing that. That shit's vanity. That shit'll haunt you. Look, for those of you that need to disarm a narcissist, I'm going to share it with you. And there, there's, like I said, there's a danger. Uh, so I need you to be careful uh, when you're doing this uh, that you're not the one that's going to make that zit pop Pre prematurely. Prematurely. Phrases to disarm a narcissist. And look, one of them is, I'm not responsible for your anger. A word that I call a flor, a flor word, can be used at any point in time before or after any of these phrases, or it can be a standalone. So you never fucking forget it. And that is whatever. Whatever. For example, I'm not responsible for your anger. Whatever. Or you can use it before that phrase. Whatever. I'm not responsible for your anger. You see how that works? Whatever. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. I love it. Look, I can't make you feel a certain way about me is another one. I can't make you feel a certain way about me. Look, I'm only going to mention eight. Eight is enough for your asses to get, get in the bind. Because I know, like I said, some of y'all going to 
prematurely uh, uh, let liquid confidence get in the way and your ass gonna be out there freezing I'm a freezing tonight <laughs> the next one is I understand what you're saying I understand what you're saying you see all of a sudden you should become very agreeable don't make a fuck cause all this shows is I'm listening to you I'm listening oh yeah yeah really wow don't encourage or discourage. You see, what they're trying to do is see if you are uh, someone willing to take on a project. Psst, mira, ven para acá, come here. Uh, yeah, they want to, because later, uh, once they blow air up your ass, this is what they're going to do. Then they're going to start opening up little vulnerabilities to see which project are you willing to volunteer for. What kind of fixture up of a person are you are you willing to invest in? And get the, uh, oh, Mita, I'll give you a ride. Oh, well, here's 10 bucks. Let me fill up your tank. Oh, I'll buy. Don't worry. Yeah, no, no, no. When it comes to drinking, don't worry about the tab. I got you. What kind of fixture upper are you looking for? Oh, maybe the alcoholic? Oh, let's introduce you to some Jesus. They need a sponsor? Since they were 14? What the fuck? Really? Got every coin available? Look, then you have the heroin addict. You have the professional go to therapy addict. You have the one that's always got to got in the hospital accident addict. Yeah, insurance fraud. Get their lump sum. Every job they've been to, they done sued somebody. Um, lawyers. Ain't none of this should surprise you. In fact, many of you can actually relate what I'm saying to a movie already been made. Ain't that some shit? I tumped over my high dollar mic, y'all. All right, look. Another one is, we both have our own opinions. How about this one? Everything will be okay. I can accept how you feel. But we can always agree to disagree. I can do what I want. No matter what you think. How about this one? You ain't paying my bills. Or like I even told when I found out who my daddy was and how long he'd been gone. Homie thought he was going to come in and act like he can manage and direct in my life. I let him know real quick. He ain't accomplished shit. He's managed to change his name four times. Habitual liar. Can't keep a job. He was nothing more than a sperm donor. Warriors, don't allow narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths try to take credit for your life's journey. They know they'll lie. That's for their conscience to bear. That's their cross to carry, not yours. They expect you to have understanding. Because they're receiving karma for their consequence, for their life fucking choices. They need you to bail them out. They need the savior empath. If you want to give yourself a fancy title, how about that one? The savior empath. Captain save a hoe. And they need you to pick me as a project. Pick me. Pick, ooh, ooh. We're, we're family. We're blood. Brother from another mother. Ever heard that one? You notice people that use shit like that got everything to benefit from you? And reciprocity doesn't exist. There's not, not, in other words, people that use that around you have more to gain than you do. And, and it's an insult to your intelligence. Let's talk about drunk, stone, or stupid. 
Narcissus or Redneck? I can't make this shit up. It's an actual card game, y'all. Look. These are the cards. I'm going to shuffle them up. So y'all know I'm mixing them. It's going to shake it up. We're going to shake. We're going to shake some spirits up and chill. We're going to shake some spirits up and chill. Now these cards are fucking hilarious, y'all. All right. We'll welcome a millionaire. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. We'll become a millionaire and blow it all. We'll become a millionaire and blow it all. Pour cheap vodka in the Grey Goose bottle to impress people. Can't make it up. We'll go deep off the grid. Wants to be insta-famous. <laughs> Don't want to earn it. They just want it to happen. Is a beast. You on Chico time now. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Says the wrong thing at the wrong time. The wrong thing at the wrong time. <laughs> Has no filter. The fuck? What, what's a fucking filter? Any. Oh, like no filter. Well, no. Could it be mouth filter? Uh, maybe it's mouth filter. Plays drinking games for glory. Not drinking. Damn it. Don't let trophies be involved. Shit. We'll spend retirement fund on big ass boat. Dang. Don't think I ain't gonna do it. Destined to be a trophy wife. Yeah, you can kind of tell them. Yeah, you you can. You, you just yeah, you ain't got to buy them. You ain't got to buy them boobs, chin, butt, teeth. I bought all the above. Some twice. None on me. Obviously, I was too busy working. And get this. When you separate or divorce from that, you get no conjugal visits. I asked the judge. Drunk, stone, or stupid, narcissist, or redneck, really doesn't want to be here right now. Never gets embarrassed. Will hook up with your brother or sister. Shit. It wakes up with half a burrito in bed. Mm. Spends all day interpreting a text. Shit. Y'all, you'd have thought this shit was like tarot, man. This is for real. This is for real. Red flags, golden nuggets to be watchful of. And it, it you know, if we go over these enough, well, instead of them becoming triggers, it will become small moments where you get to smile because what you hear, you're already pre-prepared pre for. That's how predictable narcissists are that just based on what you listen and see, you've already avoided any battle. Any need for any kind of confrontation or words to be spoken. Winning battles without ever having to fire a shot. That's the warrior way. And how about this? An even narcissist defending your position. Now you're doing something. Thanks for your support, Warriors. Don't forget to join. Hey, if you join, guess what? The girls in the office have created a file of videos, the archives that are no longer available to the public. These are archive videos, full length, available to those who join and become a member. 
So not only do you get to share a cup of coffee with Chico, which comes to less than seven cents per video that I publish every month to help support the channel. I would appreciate it so much and you would have genuine access to archive files that no one, no one else has access to. And you would also have access one day ahead all published videos before they're published to the public. Warriors, thanks so much for your remarks though, for sharing additional shortcuts that add value to the community and for the collective. And for those of you still in Hell's Gate, you got this. Hold the line. Look at me. You keep your fucking foot on their throat. We'll have time to sort through some of this shit out. Right now, I need you. Look at me. Hold the fucking line. There's no turning back now. We got this. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Namaste. The wastelands through the highways and the Turn us to thousands